Hello and welcome. I'm Steve, and this is Bland Man Studios, where I make creative stuff and talk about the technology behind it. One of my favorite technologies to talk about is GPU accelerated virtual machines, and I recently made a video about a tech for this that has finally helped me stop dual booting and start using Linux full time as my main operating system. That technology is Looking Glass. If you want a demo of what Looking Glass is, you should look up this video, because this conversation is going to assume you know what Looking Glass is and what GPU accelerated virtual machines are. So I was telling a friend about that Looking Glass video that I was making, and he had some experience with KVM and Vert Manager and asked a really good question. He said, have you tried playing games in Vert Manager's default Spice display? And my answer was no. I actually just assumed that the performance would be terrible and that a low latency option like Looking Glass would be necessary. But it's a good question, so I decided to try it out and I wanted to see what gaming in a Spice virtual display would look like. So I decided to make this video. The two dimensions we're gonna look at are the same that I use when doing gaming tests, frame rate and latency. For frame rate, we're gonna use the Unigen Valley benchmark. We can run it in a VM using a Spice display and it doesn't look too bad. Some stuttery and some smooth, and then we can run it in Looking Glass. To be honest, it's also a little stuttery, but maybe a part of that is me doing an OBS capture to capture the Looking Glass display. If you wanna look at the full captures yourself, there's a link in the description to the full uploaded footage. I also did a fun thing in that video where I did a benchmark with multiple virtual monitors using both Looking Glass and Spice side by side in one physical monitor. It was just for fun, but you can check it out in that video too. So let's look at the numbers. Looking Glass is the clear winner, but depending on what game you're playing, you might be okay with the Spice frame rate, or you might be able to get even more than that depending on what game you're running, maybe it's not that intensive. With this on its own, you might be able to play games in Spice. It wouldn't be pretty, but it could be playable. But let's test that theory. So the way I see it, playability and latency are super closely tied. With some games, people turn down graphics because it's not important to them and they'd rather get a competitive edge. But there's no scenario where you would want to turn down latency to get a competitive edge or a more enjoyable experience. Latency is a measure of time from cause to when you see the effect. So if you imagine driving a car and you turn the wheel, but the car doesn't turn until a full second later. If you accidentally turn the wheel a little too far, it would take you a full second to correct that, and you would probably overcorrect it too. There would be no way for you to keep the car in the lanes of the road if you're not able to see the effects of your actions in a timely manner. You'd be all over the place, and you wouldn't be able to respond to quick things that come up like an animal jumping in the road. And this is exactly what happened when I tried to play Halo in the Spice VM. I was running into walls, I couldn't aim at things, and it was all because of that correct and overcorrect cycle that happens when you have too much latency. I got a couple of lucky kills by moving slowly and carefully and getting lucky with my timing and positioning, but it was a really terrible playing experience and it felt like my character was walking around in jello, or it felt like I had to walk that way to not run into things, and I performed really poorly on the scoreboard. So while the game didn't crash and Spice was able to keep up the frame rate, I'd say this experience was pretty unplayable. There was a completely different story when it came to Looking Glass. After playing in Jello, the experience felt snappy, responsive, I could pop around corners, keep the crosshair focused on the target, and According to the scoreboard, I was competitive with the other players in the game. I still ran into a wall once, but that's because I'm bad at video games and not because of the latency. And it's actually cool that I ran that other test because you can see and measure the latency difference. You have Looking Glass on the left and Spice on the right. The benchmark is running on both monitors and it should be displaying the same things at the same time. But if you see the left side gets dark noticeably earlier than it does on the right. To me, it looks like it's around 10 frames earlier. The same thing happens when the results window pops up. The window pops up on the left two or three frames before it does on the right. Since this is a 60 FPS capture, that's anywhere from 33 milliseconds to 166 more latency in Spice than in Looking Glass. 
Since I know that a properly configured looking glass display only has one frame of latency, and this monitor is using 120Hz refresh rate, I know that looking glass is adding around 8.3 milliseconds of latency. So that means that Spice has more than 40 milliseconds of latency that it's adding. Both of those numbers are on top of the latency introduced by inputs, rendering the game does, and the physical monitor. So I think it's pretty cool to know that those additional 30 plus milliseconds of latency make the difference between fun and unplayable. So in conclusion, if you want to play a video game in a VM using a virtual window, Looking Glass is necessary and a pretty cool solution. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and don't forget to stay bland.